Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create more advanced pitched roof types. And we're going to focus on what we call unequal gables. So that is a roof that shares the same ridgeline, but that is not equal and you're going to have parts that are lower than other pitching points. So what I've done is I've generated my roof or my face from the Plusbeck walls, but then I've obviously edited it so I could include this portion of the portico, etc. What I've done to simplify it is I've actually copied the face out to the side. So when I first generated the face from using the Plusbeck wall tools, it generated this. So I needed to go back in and use the SketchUp line tool and accurately draw in the position of my portico. Now I could or can select the face and I can click on the roof icon and go into the pitched roof tool. Now you can control your roof via pitch or ratio or degrees. You can choose any material, etc. When you're happy, you just press submit. Now this is how it will look uh, straight out of the box, essentially. And what you'll now need to do is right click it, click on the plus roof, and then you wanna go into add gable. Now you could do other things like Dutch gables and, all, and a bunch of others, but I'm gonna keep it simple. Now what you wanna do is just click on the ends that you wanna turn into a gable select it and use it however you want. You could even put a gable in fill, but I'm just gonna simplify it and press submit. The tool stays open, so you can do or move on to the next point that you wanna change. So I'm gonna do that end. I'm now gonna do this end, and this one's gonna be a little bit more complicated. So I'm gonna press submit. And now I actually need to click on this one because I want this whole side to be a gable too. All right, and here is the problem with this way, because the pitching point will, will remain the same for the whole thing. And if that's what you want, that's great, because then all you'll need to do is draw in the infill or however you're going to construct it. And you can even do that just by going into the wall tool, put a wall in there, or even just use the wall surface tool. However, if you are trying to do what we're doing over here and having parts that come down, uh, so creating this unequal gable, what you're gonna to wanna to do is simplify it. So first, I am actually going to simplify the shape. I don't want the lower point included here. So now I'm gonna left click on the shape and I'm going to click on the roof tool. And again, I'm going to follow the exact same process that I did earlier. I'm going to press submit. And then I'm gonna right click, go into my roof and I'm going to go and add all of my gable ends and just keep going around like we did earlier. Last one. All right, we're done. Now, what we now have to do is right click again on the roof, and this time you're going to wanna to select remove roof face, and this is a very powerful tool. What it does is it removes this entire section of the roof that we've nominated, it is also put in the ridge line so we can easily trace it. And it's got the perimeter so we can trace the perimeter as well as opened the skillion or shed roof tool. Now you'll want to use the same materials and obviously use the same pitch or degree. And now you're gonna press submit. Now with the skillion or shed roof, you need to start at the lowest point. So that is where we're wanting to overhang it. And you'll also notice that I've got the overhang or the eave enabled. When we get to the ridge, you're going to definitely want to turn it off. So you're gonna press control and that disables it. And you can see that the line turns very thick as well as the text changing. On this side though, again, I want to press control so I re-enable the overhang. And when I close the shape, my skillion or shed roof portion has now been formed. Now, chances are you're going to have to quickly move it and align it. So simply grab the point, use the move key or M on your keyboard and align it so that the ridge is connected. You can then simply delete the face that you use to generate it. I obviously have shown you off to the side, but chances are you'd be doing it over your walls. And then you will need to split your walls. So I've actually split my walls into different sections so that I could create uh, the unequal gable in the wall and make sure that they line up with my roof. So if we go into structure, for example, we can see what's going on there. In actual fact, I didn't, 
I could have created this as one piece instead of three. So I've got three breaks here. And again, I can simplify that very easily by saying that's not actually what I want. And if I want to, I can actually go into my walls and I can actually meld my walls. Now it might change the height and everything, but that's fine. I've turned it back into a single piece. And if I use the redefine, I can simply start with this edge here, realign it back on the blue axes, and I'm doing the same on this end now, getting on the blue and aligning it down. And that's how you're splitting your walls and uh, turning it into the gable portion. Unlike the other side, because it was an equal gable, you could simply right click and change the construction type to a gable end. We go into all, you can also control your roof as per normal, like selecting roof off, etc. But the important thing to note is that if you are going to want to move your wall, uh, your roof, you do need to select both pieces and then move them. So you're going to be moving them separately. And also, if you do make a change to the materials or anything else, they are still parametric. So you can right click and edit them, but you're going to have to do each section separately.